right here. So I kind of wanted to describe these guns to you. This right here is a 1873 Colt Peacemaker. This is a single action pistol, weighs just about three pounds. And in order to shoot this gun, you've got to cock the hammer every time you fire. That's a single action. So every time you pull the hammer back, you got to pull the trigger to get around to go off. Now, I'm going to talk to you a little bit about gunsmen. The very, very first thing you want to learn to do gunsmen well, make sure you're not barefoot standing in the house. Make sure you stand in front of your bed because I've dropped them on my feet many times and they hurt. They leave a mark. So the easiest trick to do is the backspin, okay? The backspin's probably the easiest one to learn. Once you learn the backspin, you want to do the front spin, okay? Front spin followed by a backspin. Once you get that down with one hand, then you got to take your other hand out. Now the whole mirror image thing is really easy to do because your brain is really easy at doing this. Both hands do the same thing at the same time. So we'll do a front spin with a backspin with both hands, okay? Again, these are three pounds, these guns. Now, once you've mastered that, you kind of feel a little off with the one side of your head. You've got to learn how to spin one gun one way and one gun the other way. So we're going to do that. We're going to take one gun, go one way, one gun, go the other way. That's a lot harder to do. Do it again one more time. Okay, well, you guys can clap at any time, by the way. You know, I am working pretty hard for this. Okay, so in the silver screen, we're going to go ahead and talk to you a few little moves that they do in the movies. There was a guy in a bar in a saloon. He was in a gunfight. And during the gunfight, he got his thumb blown clean off. What do you think that's going to do? Well, you got to cock the gun every time you go to shoot it, right? So during the gunfight, he gets his thumb blown clean off. He does what's called a border shift. The border shift, you take that pistol, you flip it over to your other hand, and he was able to die anyways during the shot. But that was called the border shift. We'll do a border shift to this hand and one more border shift back to the other hand and then back in the holster. Okay. Now you can also take these guns and you can throw these guns up over your shoulder like this. Well, that was kind of ugly. We'll do that one again. All the way over just like that. One more because we got to master that. There it is. Now, you're thinking, why in the heck would you want to do something like that? Well, in a gunfight, you got to have two guns to do that. You pull one gun out, keep everybody covered, and then go ahead and do it just to look cool. Do that one more time. That just kind of makes you look cool, that's all. And we can do it with the other hand as well. We'll go up and over, and then back in the holster. Okay, how many of y'all seen the movie Maverick? Yeah? Can you remember he had that spring in his holster? Every time you go to put that gun in the holster, every time you go to put that gun in the holster, it fly out. Gosh, must be a spring in there or something. And try that, whoa, don't want to stay in there. Back in the holster with the spring and back out. So he did that in that movie. All right, how many of y'all seen the outlaw Josie Wales? All right, the maneuver he did was what we called a road agent spin. He was inside the general store they said, we got us the Josie Wales. Said, take those pistols, ease those pistols on out real slow like Josie. So what he does is he pulls those pistols out like this, goes to hand them to him, flips them around, cocks them, and kills the bad guys. Yeah, that's called the road agent spin. One more time, around, cocks them, and then back in the holsters. Okay, there's a couple kind of ways to holster as well. You can holster from the front, put it in the front door like this. Or you can go around the back door like that. Um, let's see. How many of y'all seen the movie Tombstone? Okay, that's what we're waiting for. All right, my favorite scene of Tombstone is where Johnny Ringo and Doug Holliday are in the saloon, right? And they have the little gun. And, okay. Well, if you guys clap, I'll go ahead and do that for y'all. But I ain't going to do it until I hear some claps. All right, so Johnny Ringo walks into the bar. Doc Holliday's back there. He pulls his pistols out and aims it at him, smiles, pulls it back, does it again. Then he goes into the whole routine. All right, here we go. This is the whole routine. Johnny Ringo, made famous by Michael Bean, And he does the up the wheels, up and over. And come on, you guys, a clap. This is, this is hard, right? And he takes it and he puts it in their holster. Oh, and then the mustache wipe at the end. Remember that? Hold on, hold on. What? You can't do that without oh. doing the other parts. Well, Come on! Doc Holliday standing behind the bar and he's got his cup and of course he 
Yeah. All right, yeah, you guys can clap. Yeah. All right, and then back in. Okay, yeah, I stunt double for that. Now, if you guys really clap, I'll try to do that routine with two pistols, one in each hand at the same time. And this is it, this is all you're getting from me because I'm tired. All right, here we go. So he pulls them out, spins them, smiles. All right, here we go. The more you clap, the better I'm gonna get. Clap spins. All right, wheels up and over, and then back in the holsters and the mustache wipe. Okay, thank you ladies and gentlemen. We're gonna go ahead and take you guys 